Okay, we're in the key of A, but I want to talk about key signatures first. If you look at this piece of music, you're going to see right up there at the front of the staff, you're going to see this little, uh, what do you call it, uh, the treble clef. And right next to that, you see like a little number sign? That is a sharp. And that means you're going to keep the note on that line sharp. That is an F. So you're going to have to keep every F sharp. Remember, every good boy does fine. F is the top line. So that tells you to keep every F sharp. And that means you're going to be using the key that has one sharp, which is the key of G. Now here, if you look at this, you're going to see two sharps there. That means you're going to keep every F sharp. That's the top one. And then the next one, if you remember your space, is F A C E, every C sharp. Now, instead of playing along like that and trying to remember, you know, to keep every F sharp and every C sharp, just remember you're in the key of D and you read up and down accordingly. If you know your scale well, that's going to help out quite a lot. So, the next key we're in is the key of A with three sharps. And if you look at the key of C, the chord, and that C doesn't stand for the key of C. That C next to the treble clef stands, or the dollar sign, <laughs> it stands next to it. That stands for common time, or 4-4 four, four time. So don't get confused with that. But that's, uh, that's the key of C, because it has no sharps or flats. So you can remember that. And a lot of my exercise books are in that order, the circle of fifths. The exercises are there. So if you remember your lowest A scale, it was the fifth string. <laughs> And now the middle finger, well, I'm not going to explain the scale again. Go back and learn if you don't know it. So we say A, B, C sharp, because C was already sharped, D, E, F sharp, and now the new sharp, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it's on the seventh note. That is A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, and now G sharp. So three sharps in the key of A. And then we have our A finally, our octave. And octave means the eighth. So A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A. And that's our A major scale. We have three sharps. So to review quickly, C had no sharps. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. The fifth of the C, one, two, three, four, five, is G. C, D, E, F, G. So that will be next to my circle of fifths. And for my exercises, we always want the lowest one. And we're going to start with G, A, B, C, D, E. And my seventh note is not going to be used. That F, we'll skip that and we'll go to F sharp instead. So that is G with one sharp, F sharp. And one sharp to always sharp. The next to my circle of fifths, G, A, B, C, D. So one, two, three, four, five. So D will be next. We'll say the D scale, but we have to keep that F sharp now. One sharp, always sharp. So D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, and my new seventh or sabbatical note, C sharp. And then that will be followed by the D or my octave of, of the root there. So D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. And the fifth of that, one, one, two, three, four, five, was A. And my new scale will have three sharps in it because those two have to be, the F sharp and the C sharp have to be sh continuing to be sharp. So A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, and my new sharp, the seventh note, G sharp and then A again. So I have no sharps in C, one sharp in the key of G, two sharps in the key of A, three sharps in the key, did I say that? I'm sorry folks, no sharps in C, G is one, D two, A three. And you can guess my fifth of the A scale, one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C sharp, D, E, that'll be my next key. And E is going to have four sharps in it, so let's go on to that. 